All right, here we are back with another video, and really, I didn't want to make another video this week. I wanted to just chill out, but unfortunately, EA just can't stop, won't stop, fucking up. <laughs> so without much ado, here's what I'm going to talk about. Um, <clears throat> recently, it came to light that uh, earlier this week, like literally yesterday, EA claimed, well, the reason that we can't, uh, the reason we can't put microtransactions into the game, or sorry, the reason we can't put um, cosmetic-based um, customization in the game is that it's not really built for that. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, you know, it, it would mess up the balance and you can't do it. And literally, the next day, today, the 30th, they, it turns out that buried in the code of Battlefront 2 is in fact a uh, all the options for um, the game to be uh, all those uh, customizations that were in uh, Battlefront 2015. So I'll give you my thoughts on that after the cut. So what does this mean? Um, well, I'm really just going to give you a theory. Okay, I'm not. You know, I wasn't under the bed. I wasn't there in the uh, <clears throat> in the uh, in the studio. But I believe that Star Wars Battlefront 2 was built using the same engine they used for Star Wars Battlefront um, 2015. Okay, I'm reasonably certain that they used the same engine, and because they used the same engine, a lot of the same data was, was also used. So basically. There really is no reason for there not to be customization options unless they specifically use the same engine with the same options, the same customization, and then they disable those in order to put in the microtransactions that everyone's pissed off about. So, I mean, basically, here's what happened, okay? I think in 2015, when they released that abomination of a Battlefront game, they said, hey, um, we're going to use this season pass shit, but not enough people bought the season pass. People were perfectly happy just unlocking shit and playing the game. And then, you know, uh, you know, EA doubled down on this loot box shit because, you know, all these dumbasses who play FIFA and Madden, and I know people are going to say, but, I mean, it doesn't bother me. Look, listen, okay? If, if you're a person who buys Madden and FIFA every year, year over year, and you put, like, you know, 20 30 40 50 60 dollars a month out of your pocket into EA's pocket, you're a dumbass, <laughs> okay? And I know some people might be offended, but if you're one of those people, you're part of the problem. <laughs> Stop. But that's neither here nor there. So EA essentially says, well, uh, you know, we'll, we'll put these loot boxes in the game, we'll disable customization so that these dumbasses, you know, it's Star Wars, these dumbasses love Star Wars, they'll just do it. They'll, 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 they'll pay for it, we'll milk this, we'll milk this teat until it's dry and powdered milk is coming out of it. And that's what, that's what they tried to do and people aren't having it. And I'm loving it, I'm loving it. So, I'll give you some alternatives to Battlefront 2 that you could play if you need your Star Wars fix after the cut. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, what can, what can you do as a consumer? Well, I think a lot of consumers are already not buying this damn game, first of all. But for those of you who don't have that option, or you're not going to buy it, but you want to play some type of Star Wars game. I'm here to give you some options. Um, if you own a PS4, Xbox One, PC, you can always get uh, Star Wars Episode 8. Um, the Force Awakens, that game. Um, it's from the Lego people, but I mean, Star Wars. Uh, if you want something that has, um, if you want something that's a little bit more Battlefront esque, you can still get your hands on Battlefront 2 on PC. And the game is not very... How can I put this? It's not graphically intensive, so you can have all that fun. And guess what? You don't have to pay EA a damn dime. <laughs> so that's always a plus. 
Um, you know, if you know someone who has a Wii or a GameCube, you can always play Star Wars Rogue uh, Leader or Rogue Squadron 3. Those are, those are always really good games to play. Um, even though the first one, Rogue Squadron 2, just pretty much feels like a... It feels like Rogue, the first Rogue Squadron done better. <laughs> but hey, <laughs> the option's there. You got, you got options. So, um, you know, if you have, know someone who has an N64, you can always play the original Rogue Squadron or Pod Racer. I personally hate Pod Racer, but hey, if you if you like that game, you can you can play that. But my point is that all of these games, none of these games are put out by EA. Um, if you have the Wii Virtual Console or the Wii or Wii U, you can always play Super Star Wars, Super Empire Strikes Back, and Super Return of the Jedi. Those games are really good. Um, you have a you have a lot of choices that don't involve EA and their bullshit, which is, like I said, always a good thing. So yeah, um, you want your Star Wars fix, and of course, there's always the excellent Jedi Knight series, Jedi Academy. Um, you know, the PC strategy games that were always cool, um, the PC, uh, flight simulator, well, they were not really flight, they were more arcadey, X-Wing was a TIE Fighter, um, TIE Fighter, um, Star Wars Empire War, I mean, there's, I mean, look, listen, my point is, you want to play the Star Wars game, there are tons of them out there, but you don't have to give EA a damn dime. So, I'll give you uh, upcoming events and my overall thoughts after the cut. Okay, basically, in summary, EA sucks. Don't buy their games. Don't buy Madden. Don't buy FIFA. If you have to buy a Madden, get one and keep, like, get one or two per generation. Don't get one every year. That being said, what else? Um, here's what's coming up. Saturday... The second, I'll be doing a um, sci-fi power hour where our panelists will be talking about our favorite bad movie. It's got to be bad, okay? And we'll also discuss, you know, that 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 Avengers: Infinity War trailer, which looked awesome. Sunday, seven o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we'll be doing. The uh, BS Busters and EA will be there along with Konami and Capcom. Um, we'll also talk about how to revitalize old franchises that people think have kind of lost their way and uh, give a pitch on how, on how we think that can be done. Um, enjoy. This was a short video. I'll try to keep them under 10 minutes from henceforth and good day.